Hello, welcome to Solar App TV with your host, the Solar App Addison Rex. Today I thought I'd show you an important operation here in the caves, uh, which is barrel topping. See, these barrels have to be filled to the very brim with wine, otherwise too much oxygen is going to get into the barrel and spoil the wine. So you have to make sure that the barrels are constantly filled all the way up to the top. And as the wine ages in the barrel, it actually tends to evaporate. So constantly you're having to go through this entire cave and top every single barrel at some point with some new wine. So today I'm going to show you the whole process from start to finish. And uh, we've got some supplies right here to do the job. It's really important that um, no matter, wh uh, whenever you open a barrel, it has to be really, really clean and sterile so that no bacteria can get into the inside of it. So the first step in the process is to sterilize around the outside of the bung. I know, pretty funny. These are called the bungs, and this little hole they go in is called the bung hole. That's a technical industry term, bung and bung hole. So we got a scrub around the outside of the bungs, and we have two cleaning agents. We have Proxy and Citric. This Proxy is basically just OxyClean, and the Citric we use to neutralize it, and then afterwards we wash it off. So we also have two other cleaners. We have alcohol. This is just pure 99% grain alcohol. Actually also made from grapes. This is actually grappa. And we have barrel cleaner. This is an SO2 and water solution. And SO2 is the sulfur dioxide that we use to remove oxygen from aging wine. But it also kills all kinds of bacteria, so it's good stuff. And we have um, eight sterile buns to replace these dirty buns. We've got our handy dandy air pump, and we have our topping material. So, um, whenever we have leftovers from barreling, we put the wine in the keg if we if the wine can't fill up a full barrel. And the keg is good because it can be sealed completely airtight so we can fill up the remainder of the volume of the cylinder with nitrogen. And you can't do that with a barrel because the barrel isn't exactly airtight. It's not perfectly airtight, which is the whole reason that we, this topping is necessary in the first place because oxygen can seep in. And really, uh, the whole reason that wine is aged in a barrel, uh, usually, is because it actually is a really, really slow, gradual um, oxidation process. You always hear, oh, oxygen is the enemy of wine, and in large volumes, it's true. But as wine ages, you need a little bit of oxygen to help it mature. Um, so let's get started. Step one, scrub around the bunghole with proxy clean. Step two, scrub around the bung hole with citric acid. Uh, <laughs> 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 
the citric acid can actually be less thorough than the SO2, or I'm sorry, the proxy clean, because um, the citric, all it's doing is neutralizing. The proxy is cleaning, and the citric is just neutralizing so it can be more cursory. Okay, now that we've proxied and citric everything, step three, we just gotta rinse it off real fast. So now that we've sterilized the outside of the barrel, we can remove the bungs. So these buns can just get tossed in the bucket to sanitize later and return to our stick. Step five, we have to set up our topping material. This is the wine that we're going to use to fill up the barrels. Now, uh, it's not necessarily always the same wine as the wine that's in the barrels, but it's something compatible with it. So, you know, we're not going to be using uh, Zinfandel on a Pinot, but uh, it should be something pretty similar. And uh, it's such a small percentage that it really doesn't change the character of the wine at all. I mean, it's like less than a fraction of 1%. So, like, we're using um, this Cabernet Franc, which is an excellent topping material, on this Cabernet Sauvignon. But it is important that whatever you're topping with is still good. So, this wine has been gassed and stored for a while, so we don't know if it's gone bad in the meantime. You really don't want to end up topping um, really nice wine in a barrel with some spoiled wine. So. It's very important that you check it out first. Make sure it's still good. Um, I'm detecting something a little funky on the nose here, so I'm gonna go ahead and hook it up and see if it's still good. It's that dangerous operation I'm performing right here. Not the preferred method. Whew. Yeah, that smells funny. Oh, that was vinegar. Something went horribly wrong while that wine was in that barrel. So we have to throw this keg away. It's vinegar, it's no good, does not live up to Deerfield standards. And I'm gonna go find a different topping material to top these barrels with.